first step is to take the three skewers and get them soaked in the water. You're going to need them nice and wet so that the sugar crystals will start to stick. Next, take each skewer and liberally coat it in sugar crystals. Let's think, why are we coating each skewer in sugar before we make the rock candy? Why are the sugar crystals necessary in order for the rock candy to grow? Do you know? Once all three skewers are thoroughly coated, go ahead and set them aside to completely dry. Now go ahead and turn your burner on to medium heat and add your one cup of water to the pot. You're going to then place on a lid and bring that water to a roiling boil. Once it really has a good boil going, go ahead and begin adding your sugar to the pot. Add it only one cup at a time. Stir continuously until all of the sugar crystals dissolve and then keep adding the rest of your sugar. You may notice that as you add more sugar, it takes a little bit longer to dissolve each time. Towards the end, I only added about a quarter of a cup at a time until all sugar was dissolved. By the time you're finished, you should expect to see a somewhat thick syrup. Once all of the sugar is dissolved, remove it from the heat and allow the pot to sit for about 20 minutes to cool slightly. Now the candy is ready to be poured into your mason jars, but first run the tap water on the hottest setting possible. Hold your mason jars under the water for a few minutes just to get them nice and warm. You don't want your sugar to cool down too quickly once in your jars. Repeat with however many jars you have. Now it's time to fill our jars. We recommend you use some type of funnel to help pour the hot sugar into your jars. Here's our warning. Kids, please have your adult help you with this part as this sugar is extremely hot and we don't want any accidents occurring. Slowly pour your sugar into each mason jar. if you would like, would be the time to add any flavoring you have. I'm gonna go ahead and add vanilla to my first mason jar. You only need a couple of drops. And I think I'm gonna also add some food coloring. Let's go ahead and make this one blue. I'll go ahead and drop just a couple of drops in my candy, mix it around really well, and then do the second one. I'm going to add some orange extract to my next mason jar. 
really make sure you only add a couple of drops because orange extract is really strong. For my food coloring, I'm going to use red and yellow to try to make an orange. It's not quite orange enough for me, so I'm going to drop a few more drops of yellow in and see how it works. I guess that'll have to do. Now go ahead and grab your clothespins and your skewers with your sugar crystals on it. By now they should have dried completely. Go ahead and attach the clothespin to your skewer. And you're going to use the clothespin to keep the skewer from falling all the way down into your mason jar. Go ahead and make sure that you've left at least about an inch of space from the bottom of the jar. You do not want your skewer touching the bottom of the jar. You can do one per jar or you can do two per jar. Just make sure you have enough space around both skewers on all sides and on the bottom so that your rock candy can grow. Repeat this process with any other jars you have. One hint that we found is if your clothespins don't fit on the lip of your jars, just go ahead and add the mason jar ring to it and that will help give it some sturdiness. Now is the really hard part. You need to let these sit for about a week to let the crystals grow. After three to five days, just check it and see how much has grown. Can't wait to see how your candy turns out. Okay, so here we are. It is Tuesday. I made these last Wednesday, so it's been almost a solid week. And my daughters and I have been watching it grow. As you can see, there are now crystals on the bottom and on the top. The directions did say that that would happen, and to get it out, it said that you're gonna have to carefully break the crystals on top to get out the candy. So I'm going to do my best do that without breaking the candy off. So, wish me luck. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, it is. Break it at the top gently. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just going to try to see if I can wiggle that around a bit. Not quite yet. Let me see. There we go. Let's see if that helped. Well, I broke the top. No. <laughs> I wonder if I have to break the bottom. Ooh, I can definitely see the syrup on that. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know if I gave it enough space at the bottom. <laughs> well, all right, friends, in this instance, what did we learn? Give your candy lots and lots of space. I probably could have used a taller jar. <laughs> Woo! I think it's coming. Definitely taking a little bit of love, but oh! Yay! <laughs> oh, look at that. That's some rock candy for you. Isn't that awesome? Now I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna leave it on my plate to dry. And then in the next day or so, it will be ready to eat. So I'm gonna leave that there. I think I'm gonna be brave and give the other ones a try. All right, let's try this other one. Now this other one has two in it, remember? So, 
And so just based off what I'm seeing, it looks like the same thing happened that happened to our blue. I think I did not give them enough space at the bottom, so they may have gotten stuck as well, like the blue ones did. So let's give this a look. Slowly tap, tap. Oh, this one is kind of wiggling around. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Yay. Not as impressive as store-bought rock candy, but rock candy nonetheless. I'm pretty happy with that. I know my girls will be happy with that. <laughs> let's see if I can get this other one out. Oh, that one's still that one's still in there. So let's give it a tap tap. Break off this one. It's beautiful. You can definitely see the crystals in it. And I've got three silly girls and I've got three rock candy, the one for each of them. I'm gonna go ahead and let these sit to dry over the next several hours. And when they're completely finished, I'll show you one last time. Okay, so I just rinsed out our mason jars with really, really hot water because I didn't want that sugar to solidify down my sink. So I ran the hot water for a really long time and check this out. Those crystals are still there down at the bottom of my jar. Look at that. I mean, that's after running under really hot water for a hot minute. And that one too. Now, if I take my knife, and this is gonna be kind of difficult to do while holding this, but I want you to be able to see a bit. I scrape a few of those, sorry about the camera, those crystals out. Now check this out, don't worry, my camera is clean for the future. Look, did you hear the way those came out? There's still more rock candy at the bottom of your jar and it's delicious. 